This lesson is about the units that we use in physics. Units are the labels that we give to numbers, uh, usually from measurements or from calculations. So if we ever tell you a number, you have to know, well, what is that a number of? Is it, um, you know, three eggs or is it three meters or is it three gallons or is it three people? So we label our numbers with units telling what the number represents. There are um, base units and there are derived units. A base unit is a single unit by itself. They're the simplest ones, the fundamental quantities. Um, one example would be the meter. A meter is a unit of length. A foot would be another one. A derived unit would be two or more of these base units used together. So if I uh, represent a speed with meters per second or miles per hour, that would be a derived unit. In science, we always use the international system of units. These are specific units that have been chosen by scientists and everybody around the world uses these same units. And that way, when we report data and someone from some other place reads it, it's understandable to them. They know what the numbers mean because it's the same units that they use. Well, what are the seven base units that we use in science? In order to represent length, we use the unit, the meter. The symbol that we use for the meter is lowercase m. For mass, and mass is not the same thing as weight, mass is the amount of matter in something. And for mass, the SI unit is the kilogram. And the symbol for kilogram is kg. For time, we use the second. And the symbol that we would use to label something that is seconds would just be a lowercase s. For temperature, we use the Kelvin. And the symbol for a Kelvin is K. Now you may be familiar with other temperature scales. Um, you've probably used degrees Fahrenheit. And you've probably used degrees Celsius. Um, we will never use Fahrenheit in a physics class. We may occasionally use Celsius. The conversion from Celsius to Kelvin is very simple. But one little note, it's degrees Celsius, but it's Kelvins. There's no degree symbol with a Kelvin. The amount of something is the mole. And the abbreviation for mole is simply M-O-L, because taking that E off makes it so much more convenient. Um, luminous intensity is the candela. And the symbol for candela is CD. And electric current is the ampere. Oops. I'm not writing very well. A M P E R E. And the symbol for that is uppercase A. I'll scribble out my mess here. Um, we will use length, meter, kilogram for mass, seconds for time. Uh, a lot. We will use Kelvins for temperature when we get on into the heat units later in the year. We will use mole occasionally, but not very much. You will probably never see candela because we don't discuss luminous intensity in this class, but we will see amperes um, towards the end of the year when we do electricity and magnetism. The metric prefixes are one of the things that makes the metric system so easy to use. Um, there are base metric units meter, uh, liter, and gram. Uh, and if you want a smaller unit, you don't change to a whole other unit, you just add a prefix, meaning a fraction of a meter. Or if you want a bigger unit, you add a prefix, meaning some multiple of a meter. So there's no inches, feet, and yards. It's meters, kilometers, centimeters, millimeters. So you add a prefix to the base unit to get other sizes of units. Now the prefixes that we use are nano, and nano means times 10 to the minus ninth, micro, and that means times 10 to the minus sixth, milli, which means times 10 to the minus three, and centi, 
times 10 to the minus 2. And deci, which is 1 tenth, or times 10 to the minus 1. So this would be tenths, hundredths, thousandths, millionths, and I don't even know what this would be. Um, million, billion, so a billionth. Um, so these are all the fractional prefixes. These are the multiple prefixes, and kilo means times 10 to the third, a thousand. So if you have a kilometer, you have a thousand meters. Mega is a million. It's times 10 to the sixth. And giga is billion, and it's times 10 to the ninth. Excuse me. This looks like a six. There we go. Okay, so if we wanted a thousand meters, that would be a kilometer. Uh, if I wanted a hundredth of a gram, that would be a centigram. So the first letter is the prefix, and the second letter is the base unit. Now, if you want to convert within the metric system, it's actually pretty simple because the metric system is multiplication and division by 10. Um, a very simple way to remember it is to write down the prefixes like this. Now, this is going to include a couple prefixes that we haven't talked about. They're ones that we don't use very much, but I have to put them in here to keep all the place values where they should be. Kilo is times 10 to the third, remember. This stands for hecto, H-E-C-T-O, and it's 100 or times 10 to the second. This is deca, D-E-C-A and it means times 10 to the first. Now, these are your fundamental units. So times 10 to the zeroth, or times one, so meter, liter, and gram. This is a tenth, deci, this is a hundredth, centi, and this is 1,000 milli, just like we've just learned. Now, suppose I want to convert 425 meters to a certain number of kilometers. Well, find your meters in this chart, and that would be right here. And then move to the kilo place, and that would be one jump, two jumps, three jumps. And that means we're going to move our decimal three places. That's one, two, three, to the left, because we moved to the left when we moved from, milo, from um, meter to kilo. So if we move our decimal from here, one, to three places to the left, that would give us 0 0.425 kilometers. And if I had um, 42 kilometers, and I wanted to know how many centimeters that is, I would start with, the, with what I have, the kilo, start here, and move until you get to center. So that one, two, three, four, five jumps. From kilo, one, two, three, four, five jumps to center. That means my decimal has to move to the right five places. So that's going to be, my decimal's here, so I may not have room to write it in that blank, so I'm going to write it below. So I start out with four, two, and if I move my decimal to the right one place, that's adds a zero, two, three, four, and five centimeters. That's a bunch, but look, a centimeter is tiny. It's about like half an inch. A kilometer is huge. It's like, well, let's see, a 10 kilometer race is 6.2 miles. So one kilometer is over half a mile. So it's 42 of this really big unit or Let's see, 4 million, no, let's see, 1, 2, 3, yeah, 4 million, 200,000. 1, 2, 3, yes, 4 million, 200,000 centimeters.